Hello and welcome to the video blog of Tona Brown. I would like to first say thank you for um, listening and viewing my video blog. And also I would like to talk to you about presentation and how to dress. I have been going all around the country to see different trans organizations and talking to them. And one thing that I see that blows my mind is the way a lot of the girls dress. And learning a little bit more about the psychology of it, I decided that I wanted to make a small video on the subject. Now, many people tend to transition later in life. And so when you transition later in life, you didn't have an opportunity to go through adolescence, to go through young adulthood as the gender that you feel that you are. And so oftentimes you will see that these young ladies, sometimes older in their 60s, their 50s, their 70s, I've met um, some people who transitioned um, as late as 70 years old. And one of the things that you will notice is that, is that these people will dress way too young for them, okay? And you don't want that. You don't wanna be that lady that is 50 years old and you're wearing a mini skirt and your midriff hanging out or a cheerleader's outfit, unless it's a fancy dress party or Halloween or something like that, that will not only get you spooked, but that will not go over too well. So I think it's really important for a lot of the girls to learn to dress appropriately for your age and for the occasion. You know, less is more, there's all these little things, but also learn to take critiques. Um, I remember I got into a discussion with some people at a trans org in Hampton Roads and they got really upset with me because I wouldn't go with them to the mall to take some of these people out and about. And it wasn't me being shady, but when I went to go meet them and offered them a little critique and like all of us are sitting around a table talking about different things, they got really upset because I was not going to walk through the mall with a 59 year old person that had on a cheerleading outfit and a, what was it, a purple and blonde streak wig or something like that. I mean, it was just really, really way over the top. I'm all for everyone expressing themselves, but there's a time and a place. And if you don't agree with that, then you're going to have difficulties in this world. Trust and believe that. And so it was really, really hard. So learn how to dress appropriately for your age, for your body type, okay? If you know that you have a stomach like I do, okay? If you know that you have a badonka donk, you know, there is nothing wrong with that. Plenty of women have them, but that shouldn't be hanging all out. You know, and your dresses should not be when you're a mature woman way up the thigh. You know, it, it just gets a little over the top. There's club attire. There's bedroom attire. There's out in the street attire. And there's career business attire. Get with someone and learn the differences. Because I think that a lot of the girls go out in public and they're shocked and appalled because someone might say something to them. And the first reaction that we have as transgender people is to say, oh, that's just because they were hating on me because I was transgender and blah, 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 blah. No, sweetheart, you're 90 years old wearing something that a 16 year old would wear. You know, maybe that's why they're looking at you and pointing, not because you're transgendered, you know? So that's something that's really, 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 really important because I see it all the time. Every time I go and meet a whole group of trans women, um, will go and trans men, usually you don't see it as much with trans men. You know, they, they tend to dress pretty good. But with the girls, because there's so many different options, they feel, oh, I'm just going to wear any and everything. So <laughs> we can't, we cannot have that. Get with someone and take the critique. Now, 
since I put that out there, I'm going to share my journey, okay? Um, when I first transitioned, I had a little hot body and, you know, I used to wear a lot of club attire and, you know, or little jeans and t-shirts. But because I have a family full of women, I knew what was appropriate wear. Um, but as you get older, you start to change your, your style. You want to be respected more. You cover up more, um, you know that sort of thing but I remember there was a, a woman who came up to me after I um, played violin at this thing this performance at a restaurant for um, in Hampton Roads and the woman said to me she said you know when you come out for the for the LGBT community we want to see you really really give it and I'm like, well, what is the matter with me? You know, because I had on my little suit, my hair was pulled back into like a little ponytail and, you know, minimal makeup and this, that, and the other. And she was like, look, you know, open that top. And she took and went into my bra and pulled things up and, and pulled this together. And I remember thinking, wow, this is something, okay? Now... This young lady was also a performer, a drag performer, and she was very well known in the area. And what I realized was she wasn't trying to be shady, but what she was telling me is that we respect you, but we want you to show us respect by giving a little more, showing us that you really cared and appreciated this opportunity to perform for us. We see you as a star, and as a star, you need to present yourself that way. And so it was a very valuable lesson for me, and even within the past year, moving to different areas, trying to pursue my career, um, I even talked to someone about makeup, and I was going to different trans women and asking them about different things, you know, what were they doing, you know, things that they that did not work for us, our skin, you know, um, all sorts of things and there was an older woman who's very well known in the DMV area who came up to me after another performance and she said you know I would love to sit down with you and take you to the store because I think you're using the wrong makeup and I said really and she said yeah she said I think that that's just not the right makeup for you and why don't you let me take you to the store and we'll have a consultation. I know a really great makeup artist and this, this, that, and other that, you know, you're so beautiful and you have so much talent. I really would like to help you. Now, I could have got this grand attitude and been like, well, who are you? And, you know, this, this, this. But I realized it was coming from a good place. And so I feel that a lot of people, especially those of trans experience, we get so much crap in society and you, you know, we're the butt of the jokes and you see all this stuff on television that we're already defensive, okay? And sometimes you have to put that away and look at the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is that everyone can learn from someone else. No one is so fierce that you can't learn from someone else, you know? Um, and I really appreciated that and I wrote her a letter and told her how much I really appreciated it. And, um, you know, she said, well, you know, I just didn't want you, know, you to leave and for me not to say anything, you know, who knows if people were saying, saying, thinking the same thing. And if, if I'm thinking it, then surely someone else is thinking it and you are very important to our community. So again, I say this out of love, please, 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 please get with someone, find a stylist. Talk to someone about how to dress for your body because we all have our own issues as transgender people with clothes. You know, there are certain areas that we like to hide. There are certain, certain types of dresses that work best for your body shape compared to any other person or one of your female friends. There are certain unique characteristics to our bodies that we have to address. So I really wanted to just touch bases on that. I really want you girls to look amazing because you're beautiful, you're talented, um, incredible human beings. 
So let's please work on the image. Let's please work on being professional um, and being the best that we can be. So I hope that this is very helpful. Please comment about that. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about this subject. I'm pretty sure some people are going to be upset about it, but it is the truth. We all have codes of conduct, conduct in this world and you just have to deal with it. And especially for survival purposes for a transgender woman, you need to be able to go out here and not only wow gentlemen and people that you see, but also to be able to just be in the midst of a crowd and no one even do a double take at, at you at all because you've assimilated into this crowd and you know, you're what they call quote unquote passable, okay? And that is the best way to do that, is knowing how to dress appropriately, knowing how to conduct yourself in a manner for which you're not causing all this attention to come to you, and dressing age appropriate. I cannot stress that enough. You know, I'm very sorry for some that transition later in life and they want to know what it's like to wear the cat suits and the, some of those things. Do that around your house, you know, or for your significant other or to go to the club. You can do all of the above. Be stunning and lovely, but know that there's a time and a place. So hopefully this is very helpful. I'm pretty sure people are going to comment. Please put different um links to different things if you would like, um, sites that people can go to find garments that will fit them um, and make them look fabulous. Okay, thank you very much and I look forward to talking to you again. Bye.